it's Carrie here from the Female Entrepreneur Association and welcome to the 10 Minute Masterclass, your weekly dose of inspiration to build a successful business. So I have recently finished doing a launch for the Members Club, literally a couple of days ago, and I learned so much from it and so I thought I'd create a little mini series to share with you everything that I've learned. Firstly, because hopefully the things I share will help you whenever you're doing a launch. And secondly, because I thought it'd be good to share what, it, what it's like to do a launch from the inside because I think sometimes we see other people launching things and from the outside it looks polished and everything looks like it's figured out and everything looks like it's perfectly in place but seriously on the inside it's such a different story it's chaotic it's messy it's stressful and so I wanted to let you in on what my launch was like from the inside so in this video I'm gonna give you a breakdown and overview of what I did throughout my launch and then I'm gonna share with you the marketing strategy that I used to launch everything and then I'm gonna make another video to share the big lessons I learned and my top tips. So I'm gonna share with you a lot of information, so get ready for this. <laughs> So at the end of last year I decided to close enrollment for the Members Club because we were moving over to Infusionsoft and creating a new checkout. So I knew that when enrollment opened back up I was going to do a big launch. And originally I planned on that being in March but obviously that didn't happen um, because I was having really big issues with my developers and I felt so out of control. But I was making progress slowly but surely it was so frustrating. So in the meantime, I spent a lot of time planning out my launch with my team and mentors and deciding on what my goal was gonna be. And I also decided to push myself into a free video series. So I brainstormed that out and I also mapped out how I was gonna promote the launch and the emails I was gonna send out so that I could see a bird's eye view of what everything would look like. And then phase two began the creation phase. So um, I had to create the graphics to remote it all, the email copy, the sales page copy, the sales page design, the checkout page, the free video series, the welcome process, the welcome emails. This honestly took me such a long time and it felt like a really hard process because sometimes you just can't see the wood for the trees and you forget how other people are seeing something that you're creating. And so I did something to help me with this. Firstly, I got a copywriter to check over what I was creating and I also got some friends and mentors to check over it too. And secondly, I asked my existing members why they joined the Members Club and why they loved it so that I could see in their words what appealed to them. And this really helped to put me in the shoes of my audience. So if you're ever feeling stuck with what to say, ask your audience and get people to give you feedback. It's honestly the best thing you can do. So then once everything had been created, at least nearly, <laughs> I then started to spread the word. And this all began with a pre-launch campaign to get people really excited and to get them on the wait list. And I did this through email, social media, and Facebook ads. So I sent out a weekly email with a PS that the members club would be opening soon and a link to find out more, which then took them to the waitlist page. I also posted it out on social media that I was really, really excited that after six months, the members club was finally going to be opening back up and I put a link to the waitlist page. And I also created a Facebook ad as well about the members club opening back up, which I advertised to my existing audience and also to people who weren't in my network. And then by the time VIP enrollment opened, I had 5,000 people on the list which was amazing. I then turned the waitlist people into my VIPs and I built up the excitement and then on the day before the VIP enrollment opened I sent out an email letting them know more about the members club and I included feedback that I'd received from members and I told them that enrollment would be opening the next day and then I also told them what the subject line was so they could keep a lookout for it and then the next day I sent out the launch email um, although it was later than I had planned because I had some last minute problems with the checkout, which was not good. It was incredibly stressful, but such is life. Um, and then after I sent that out, three days later, I sent another email out letting them know more about what they would get access to when they signed up and also letting them know that tomorrow would be the last day they could join as a VIP member. And then on the last day of VIP enrollment, I sent an email in the morning and then one in the evening, just something short and sweet, letting them know um, what was going on. And I know it can sometimes seem excessive, but seriously, you need to do all you can to let people know, otherwise they'll be really annoyed when they missed out. So the res results from the VIP enrollment were uh, I had 11% an 11 conversion rate for my VIP list, which I was so, so happy about. And also doing the VIP launch was so good because I had a chance to test out the checkout before launching to everyone, which proved to be very useful because we had so many problems and issues to fix. 
And then on my, alongside VIP enrollment was the pre-launch to my main enrollment. So I kicked that off with my weekly video all about the seven signs that you're going to be a success. And then I gave people a call to action to sign up for the free video series that I'd created all about how to create success on purpose. So the free video series launched the next day and I emailed it out to everyone who signed up and then I also sent out an email to everyone who hadn't signed up to give them the opportunity to opt in. And then I promoted the series via email, on my website, using banners to get people to sign up, through social media, using lots of different graphics to share the series, and I also ran Facebook ads. And on top of that, I also created a free success on purpose workbook, um, which people could sign up for, because sometimes people prefer to sign up for a workbook than watching a series. And in fact, the conversion rate for the workbook was so much higher than for the series, um, which was really incredible. And again, I promoted this via social media and Facebook ads. And then at the end of the workbook, I told people a little bit about the members club and I gave them a link to sign up for, um, for the members club. And then um, the day video three of the video series went live, the car opened and I talked about it at the end of video three. And so I didn't necessarily see a huge um, uptake straight away for the video series and the workbook, but it really, really seemed to help me to spread the word about FEA and to also build a really great relationship with people that actually had never even heard of the Female Entrepreneur Association before. So from that perspective, those things were amazing. And then after that, I didn't really have anything else planned out in order to promote the enrollment beyond Facebook ads, social media and emails once the free series had ended. Um, and then I ended up feeling like things were a bit, little bit slow and so I was talking to the amazing Nikki Ellis Brown about it and telling her everything that was going on and she said why don't you just have some fun with it, do a hangout and get some of the featured experts from inside the members club to join you and then I just realised that I needed to just take the pressure off the fact that I was doing a launch and just have fun and enjoy it and create valuable stuff that people would love. So literally within a day I'd reached out to some of the experts and set up the hangout for the Thursday which was so so much fun and I created a little party favour for everyone that joined us and again I promoted this through email, social media and Facebook ads and we actually had over 800 people sign up which I was really surprised at given it was such short notice and the hangout went so well the feedback was amazing and we had lots of new members join and then on the Friday I started to think about whether or not I should do something over the weekend as I had absolutely nothing planned and enrollment closed on the following Tuesday so I thought about doing some workshops but I really couldn't decide because it was such late notice and and it was the weekend and I had absolutely nothing prepared. So then on a Saturday morning when I woke up, I just decided to go for it. So I literally sat there in bed and I got my laptop, decided what the workshops would be on, created the sign up pages, wrote the email and just thought, just send it, send it and just do it. And they were such a massive success. And again, I promoted them via email, social media and Facebook ads. And then in the last two days, I really ramped up Facebook ads and I sent out emails. And in those two days, there was a huge spike in new members. And we actually closed with 1,250 new members, which was so, so exciting because my goal was actually 1,200. And the thing is, throughout this launch, I tested out so many new ideas and it was chaotic and stressful, but seriously, one hell of an adventure. And my main marketing strategy was this. Number one, add lots of value to everyone, which I did through creating the free video series, the workbooks and the hangouts and workshops. Two, create a wait list of people who are really interested and open to them first. Three, promote via email. Don't be afraid to let people know what you've got to offer, especially if you think they're gonna love it. Four, promote it via social media. Create beautiful graphics, get people so excited and create the bus around your launch. And five, promote via Facebook ads to reach new people. So I actually created a Facebook ad to non-fans to let people know that enrollment was closing and it got such a great conversion rate, although nowhere near as good as a conversion rate for my existing fans. But I was literally rinsing and repeating this for every new thing that I had created email marketing, plus social media, plus Facebook ads, coupled with really valuable content and an offer that your audience will love, equals success. <laughs> and that's why it's so important to take time to build up your email list and to build your social media following and to build relationship with those people so that they know what you're about and what you have to offer. Um, so I've created a breakdown of all of this information for you because I know I've just shared quite a lot. Um, but I really hope that me sharing this with you has been helpful. You know, I still find it ridiculously crazy to think that just a few years ago, none of this existed. It was just all an idea in my head. And it just makes me really 
realise that so much is possible for all of us. So if you have a message, a product or a service that you want to get out there, just take consistent action towards making it happen. Add value, build your email list, build up your followers, get good at Facebook ads and you will seriously make amazing things happen, I promise. So if you have any questions whatsoever, leave a comment below, I am really here to help. And also if you've enjoyed this video but you're not a subscriber, then sign up below and we will send you over some very exciting goodies and I will see you next week for another dose of inspiration.